Unless the cause of hypoxemia is obvious when you evaluate a patient, you should usually get a chest x-ray. And x-ray findings that you might often see include bilateral pulmonary infiltrates that can develop acutely, and some common causes of that in critically ill patients include ARDS, or systolic or diastolic heart failure, which can present as flash or acute onset pulmonary edema. And if you want to distinguish between these, an echo can be pretty helpful. And other things you can see on the x-ray include pneumothorax, or a large pleural effusion. And then obviously x-rays are vital to evaluate for infection, including community-acquired, aspiration, or healthcare-associated pneumonia. CT of the chest can be useful when the x-ray fails to definitively reveal the cause of hypoxemia. For example, a CT can help you distinguish between ARDS from other causes of respiratory failure that would require specific treatment. And these can include atypical infections or inflammatory lung diseases. CT can also help by revealing some previously unrecognized chronic lung disease, like interstitial disease or advanced emphysema. And then CT can also help identify pneumothoraces, in critically ill patients who have markedly abnormal baseline x-rays and maybe have an inability to sit upright. CT angiography is useful in identifying acute pulmonary thromboembolism. Getting a chest CT though might not be appropriate or feasible in critically ill patients even if they have unexplained hypoxemia. It should really be reserved for situations in which the information gained justifies all the risks of transporting a critically ill patient and exposing them to radiation and the cost. Because transporting a patient who's critically ill and who might be mechanically ventilated is actually pretty risky. And the risks include interrupting important life-supporting infusions, interrupting the mechanical ventilation circuit, and also limiting the ability to monitor the patient while they're being transported. And likewise, using IV contrast to exclude a PE might be outweighed by the risk of renal failure. And other options should be considered like a lower extremity ultrasound or a VQ scan. So in general, it's very important that significant potential benefit can be gained from the test results.